My name is Chris and this is an instructional video that will demonstrate how to create both users and groups on the Windows NT operating system. So we're going to go down here to the start bar and then we're going to go up to programs and we're going to come down here to administrative tools and click on the user manager. Now that the manager is open you can see the two user accounts that come pre-installed with Windows NT as well as all of the groups that come pre-installed with Windows NT. Now to create a new one we come up here to user and we select either new user or new local group. We're going to start with user for now and click new user. It's now going to ask what the username is going to be. We're going to type in Chris and then it's going to ask for a full name. We're just going to Chris and last name, a description of the user, and a password. We're just going to put one, two, three, four, five. Now, when we create a new user, there we have several options here. This first one user must change password at next logon is exactly how it sounds. The next time this account logs in, it will be prompted to enter a new password. This happens one time only. The moment that new password is created, this option is deselected. And if you want them to have to create a new password when they log in next time, you have to go re-enable it. User cannot change password disables this account from changing its password so when I log in I can't go in to my account settings and change my password with this selected the password never expires bypasses the security feature that requires the password to be changed every so often account disabled will completely deactivate a user account. It will still exist, but it will be inaccessible and unable to log in. Now, down here, we can click on groups and add what group this user is going to be a member of. So we'll say administrators, we'll add that and hit OK. Now, the profile and dial-in are a little bit more advanced features that we'll get into in another video. So for now, we're going to come up here and hit the OK button. And there's Chris. Now, for a new group, you come up here and you type, click new local group. It will ask you for a group name. We're just going to say test group one, an exam uh, description of the group. And we can add users. Like if I want to add the administrator, and then hit OK, and there it is. I show full names, we'll show the full name, and we hit OK, and there's our new group. Now then, we come up here to policies and click on account policy. And this will apply to every user in the test group one. You can set the password age. So if we set this to seven days, then every seven days, anybody who's a member of that group will be required to change their password. Now the minimum password age is once they create a password, this dictates how long they have to keep it before it changes or can be changed whether the accounts are locked out or not and how long a password has to be with the permit blank password selected a user name in this group doesn't even have to have a password unless they're part of another group that does. Okay so now we just hit OK and we can go up to policies and go to user rights now what this does is let us alter privileges to different groups. 
So accessing this computer from a network can only be done by administrators, power users, and everyone. So let's go down here to change the system time. You notice only admins and power users. Well, let's say that I want my new account, Chris, to be able to change the time. So we're going to go add. We're going to come down here to test group one, which is what Chris is part of, and hit OK. And now that group and everybody in it, including Chris, can now change the system time. And now we're just going to hit OK. To delete an account, you come up here to user and you delete. Hit OK. Yes. And the account is gone. Now, what I've clicked here is the audit option. It's under policies. When this option is enabled, anytime a login or log off is successful, it will record it. Now, when I select this, whenever they fail to log in or log off, it records it. Whenever they successfully use any of their user rights, it records it. And when I select this, whenever they fail to do that. So it lets you keep track of who's doing what. My name is Chris, and this has been an inf informational video on user and group accounts for Windows NT. I hope you enjoyed watching and you found the information provided to be of value.